Welcome everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I have another intriguing house to show you here in the country of the United States. And the place that I'm going to show you today is unlike any other place that I ever filmed before. And I'm going to approach this one differently. I'm going to start the exploration from the top of the building and work my way down. Because on the bottom floors of this place, the family that lived here used to have their family business. They made water wells around the country. So I think it's very interesting to start from the top and then work our way down. The things that we're going to see inside of here, the memories that are left behind, the furnishings that are still in here are just insane. And before I knew that this place existed, I would have never thought to find anything like this in the United States. So let's waste no more time and let's go on a very fantastic exploration. Enjoy this video. In the north of the USA, we discovered a forgotten Victorian mansion with an intriguing story. Abandoned for over two decades, it was an untouched time capsule waiting to be explored. This was the home of Edith and Virgil, a kind and generous American family with four children. They built wells in their region for business and all over the world for charity. They were devoted to their community and their passion for helping others. The well digging business thrived for many years, but a new company with more resources arrived in town. The new company undercut prices and Edith and Virgil's business couldn't compete. They were forced to close their doors and lay off their employees. Devastated, Edith and Virgil sold their house and moved to a smaller town, hoping to start a new life, but they were never the same. The abandoned home remains a mystery to this day, but the locals still speak of Edith and Virgil with fondness, and they continue to wonder what could have happened if the new company hadn't come to town. Join us as we pay tribute to this charitable family and take a tour of their forgotten home. It's very cold here today in the United States. It's probably minus 10 degrees Celsius or minus 20, no, 20 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> my toes are freezing, my hands are freezing, but I'm still exploring just because I love it so much and just because I want to bring you all this great content. But please consider subscribing down there for the effort and liking the video as well. And let's now waste no more time and let's jump right into the bedroom that we're standing in right now. And this bedroom over here used to be most likely of the children that slept in this place. You can see this very tiny bed over here in this room that's still made after all these years. I think this place has been abandoned for more than two decades because the last dates that I found in this place were from around 1998. I haven't found anything more recent but of course, together, we're gonna search throughout this place and see if we can find something else. What a beautiful bed do we have here in front of us with this curtain down here. I was looking if there's anything underneath it. There doesn't seem to be anything there. Wow. And then here, right in front of the bed, you have this sort of radio station with a radio up there. Then we have this device that I have absolutely no clue of what it does, but it's probably also related to radio stuff like that. We have this horn over here to transmit the audio through. Very vintage telephone still standing here. Most likely some of my viewers have still used a similar one. It's the one that's standing up here. And then we have some very interesting news articles up here as well. This is from Sunday, 1928, February 5th. Before World War II, 
and is talking about the organization of the officers. Wow. And even still some pictures of the people are still left over here on this table. Wow. A marine hat lying here. King from Cap de Lux, New York. Beautiful to see. Even still some travel suitcases down there, probably to transport the radio equipment with. It's just insane to think that at one point in time, a young child used to sleep up here on the attic of the house. And it seems to me like over here in this corner of the room, there also used to be some sort of a bed. Definitely there's a mattress here. There's even a blanket lying up there and the pillows are up front. So two children used to sleep in this room. Yeah, you can see there's even a toy standing there in the back. Wow. So he used to sleep in this very tiny bed that must have been a small child. He slept in here. Seems some storage cupboard, cupboards to the side of it. A picture frame lying here, a clothing rinser. Some beautiful antiques are scattered throughout this house. I also I was also looking at this device over here with all the gears and the mechanisms that, that, that that's in here, but I have no clue again what this device was used for. Okay, I love the style of this room as well with all the woodwork all around. You can see the doors over here to shut it off to the other space of the attic. And here we come into some sort of a storage area on this upper floor of the house with even more radio equipment standing here on top of this chair. Wavelength switch. And then all the clock faces down here as well. Pretty interesting to see. And definitely very old pieces. I love the design in the mirror here. Have a look at that. There's even some newspapers stored in here. The mechanism is insanely beautiful. Back in the time they used to make things to last forever. Something that we don't do anymore nowadays. And which is just the sun because if you can use something forever, it doesn't pollute the earth and you can enjoy it for a lifetime. And nowadays we make things that we dispose of very quickly. You can see it in these abandoned houses. Every single item probably still functions and is still left in here. Not thrown out, used by the people over their lifetime. Oh, these are gas dispensers. So many things to look at. Oh, the Christmas decoration is also still lying up here. A meat grinder. Wow. That looks like an urn or something. I'm not gonna touch that too much. Even these treasure chests that are standing up in here at the attic. Wow. With all the newspapers still in there. A very interesting to see which year that this newspaper is from. Let me have a look at it. It's a very old one. Perhaps there seems to be no date on there. The problem of Pierpont Morgan. From here we can go further. And at the end here, there is a little stairway that leads us down into the middle floor of the house. There's even a knife lying up here. Have a look at that. Some sort of a knife lying up here with the handle of a deer horn. Beautiful craftsmanship. Okay. I love the style of this house and how it has been built. This house has been built in the 18th century, uh, excuse me, in the 19th century, around the year 1850. You can definitely see it from all the designs, the doorways that we have in this place, and just the overall look of everything in this house. Spider webs are rampant. 
all throughout the corners of this household. This is sort of cable hanging here. Okay, let's go first to this side because that's also part of the attic space, I think. Oh, I feel that and hear the floor cracking underneath my feet. Let's go down a little bit and then we end up in this room that's completely stacked with furniture to the brim. You can see all the chairs that they didn't need anymore throughout the house. They didn't want to throw them out, so they stored them up here. Right next to me, everybody, you're not gonna believe it. There's a wall clock standing here against the wall. Little cover, let's see if there's a gun inside of there, because we still are in the United States, but unfortunately, there's no gun to be found in this wall clock. Wonderful piece, there's no branding on there. <coughs> wow. Some tables standing here, beautiful wood tables with pictures of the former inhabitants still lying on there. Let's see if there's any names or dates on there. Seems to be nothing from the back gardens of the place. little agenda still lying here and the date on there is 1937 wow and then we have a magazine also still lying here american collectors magazine these people were definitely collectors of antiques as you can see they had magazines about it their whole house is scattered with antiques and over here we can see some more pictures of the people probably with their old Ford Model T their dog from back in the time such fond memories of them oh wow these are most likely the children standing outside of the household and here's another child in the back garden of the house A woman together with a dog. Isn't that just fascinating to see? I always forget what this piece of furniture was used for. But I think it's like similar to a bedpan or to a chamber pot where you do your duty in at night. But I'm not 100% sure about that. So please correct me in the comment section because I would love to know more about that piece of furniture. A little dog, <laughs> dog standing here. Oh, this is plastic. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's also this chandelier hanging up here. Fascinating piece as well. Some upholstery chairs around this room. And there's some sort of a sitting area set up here. So I think maybe the family would come up here maybe enjoy their furnishings on this attic i'm not sure i'm just rambling right here but it has been set up in a particular way uh, sort of like a sitting area i love this upholstery bench that we have here in front of us beautiful red upholstery bench nicely designed it's deteriorating a little bit here in the corner unfortunately but wow isn't this a beautiful piece? The carvings on the top as well. Soup terrine standing up here. And a beautiful painting. Wow. The name on it says Walt. And here we have a similar clock as we saw on the attic. Wonderful, everybody. Wonderful. This is a true time capsule, everybody, of Edith and Virgil. And I'm so excited to be able to walk through here in the United States and explore this place. Look at the decay that's happening inside of here. The whole wall has fallen off over time. And over here to the right, I think we are entering, yeah, into the bathroom. You can see the bathtub from over there. Look at this, the whole wall has bursted somehow. 
I'm not sure how that used to happen. But I love the arch design that they have up here. It's a pretty fancy bathtub. And for some sort of weird reason, there's also this upholstery chair here in the middle of the room. A very dirty toilet there. And there also used to be a sink hanging from the wall that's not present anymore. Slowly, the paint is shipping off the walls and the doorways. Ooh. And then we can go through. Ah, interesting. Ah, this is the hallway that's gonna lead us downstairs later on in the video. Here in the hallway, we have this drawer standing. And this is pretty fascinating because you can see there's a lot of artifacts of the people still in there. Christmas cards, as you can see. Those are true fond memories. What do we have over here? There's a letter still in here. Oh, this might have been from the company. Radiogram. Okay, because we saw all the radio equipment upstairs, this might have something to do with it. Madrid, Cyclotril, New York. And view telegram from Guerrill. Interesting, so many things still in here. And here we have this letter. And this one is directed to the owners of the place. Dear Edith and Virgil, it seems the deepest feeling, the hardest to convey, but you will understand the things that your words can never say. Our thoughts and heart go out to you in sympathy today. And it was directed by their aunt and their uncle Ralph. Interesting, so probably they lost somebody and they sent them their grief card. Oh. So many memories and pictures still left in this place. It's devastating to see why this happens time and time again. Here we have some pictures of furnishings that they probably were interested in buying. Wow, so many memories, even on the ground. Everything is lying here on the ground. We have this handwritten letter still left here. It says Dear E, that's probably directed to Edith. And then they have this full on written letter. Let me see the date. This is written on the 20th of January, 1946. Oh my God, that's one year after the Second World War. That's how old this place is. I think in my, this upstairs part of the house, like I got this idea that I maybe started using the downstairs as the company, but the upstairs might have been abandoned for way longer because up here I couldn't find any recent dates. So yeah, it might have already been abandoned for 50, 60, maybe even 70 years. Like we can see from all the dates that are here on the floor and all the memories that I left behind. Let's go in the f into the following room, into the next room. And let's check it out. We got a lot of things stacked up here to the left. You can see the mattresses still stacked here. Paintings and mirrors and everything. Wow, definitely antique collectors. And this gives us also signs that this place might have been not used anymore. These upper floors might not have been used anymore for a long time. The paint is peeling off the ceiling. The beams are already exposed up there. That's how fast it goes. That's how fast your house will deteriorate after you leave Earth behind. We have this wonderful drawer standing behind here. Wow, that's still in such a good condition. <laughs> They have this Asian bowl head laying in here. I can't unfortunately take it out. But that's a pretty fascinating item. And then we got this mirror lying up here. And even still some clothes left in the wardrobe. The walk-in closet, I must say. Wow. Would these have been uh, from Edith or from Virgil? I'm not sure. And then everybody, look at this setup. We've got these two beautiful upholstery chairs to either side of this clock face here in the middle. Isn't that just lovely to see? A side table, 
to drink your evening coffee yet. And then this wonderful clock face here in the middle. And probably also like a gold plated statue standing here. And then this booklet lying down below. Let's put this up nicely again. And these are the same chairs as the one that we saw in the attic space up there. Pretty beautiful chairs, to my opinion. Picture of a child here on the wall, a painting, I must say, or a drawing. Another very fascinating painting to this side as well. Of a young lady, a young noble lady, most definitely. And then a record player here in the corner of the room as well. So definitely I can already imagine that like they would play some songs on the on the record player over here, sit in the chairs, enjoy themselves, probably drink tea or a coffee or something like that. Such fond memories and you just have to imagine how it must have been like when these people still lived in this place. The cabinet over here as well. The all the china the pots and the plates and everything still in there okay let's go further let's test the electricity just for the sake of it now that unfortunately doesn't work anymore okay let's head over diagonally to the next room you can see over there the windows are just open like <sighs> nature can come into this place and nobody cares about it anymore and here we can see already the first artifacts and yeah, like the remains of the company that they used to have in this place. The dates are on here, 1983, 1984, 1986. And these are all paperwork and documents from the company that they once used to have. This room is pretty empty. I think at one point it might have also been a bedroom, but uh, later on it has been converted into some sort of a storage area. Oh, these cushions, pretty nice and comfy. And again, the wallpaper paper is peeling off the ceilings and this place is falling apart. Got a few more rooms to show you up here. Like they even put furnishings here in the middle of the hallway. So that's, that's a sign that nobody still lived in here at a certain point or that nobody lived anymore on these upper floors. Wow. Come into this room. Have a look, everybody. Wow. The ceiling is insane in this one. Bed frames to the side, furniture to the side, all stacked on top of each other. But have a look. I'm going to turn around and you're not going to believe your eyes. A wonderful piano in front of us. I don't know the exact shape of this piano, how you would call it, but it's just a beautiful piece. Unfortunately, it doesn't function anymore. It still has a piece of music on the top here. Some plants next to it. Some wonderful plants still standing here. Unfortunately, these are also fake plants because they would not survive for so many decades. But look at the beauty of this piece. Wow. It's also, there is a bottle of wine still standing here in the corner. Just like they could come back in here, take a seat in front of the piano start playing and having a drink at night and just playing away. This picture of this young lady, also here on the wall. Wow. And then we got this secretary desk. This is actually the first secretary desk that I encounter in the United States. But it would be, would be in place in a house like this, in a business house like this. It doesn't open anymore, unfortunately. Also got this nice mirror above here that says leaf on there. Oh my God, <laughs> somebody doesn't want us to be in here. Wow. Another wonderful upholstery chair right next to it. Just wondering why there are so much furnishings inside of this room. 
stacked on top of the wall, stacked against the wall. I'm gonna give you one more glance at the piano right here in front of us. Just take it in, take this beauty in, let it sink in that everything is just left here. It's insane. Okay. I got one more room to show you up here before we will check out the business downstairs. And that's this room. Not tech spectacular, but I just have to show it because it's part of the household. But what I find very strange in this room is you have the bed down there that's still fully made. The mattress is still on there, the blanket is still on there, everything. But then they stacked multiple mattresses on top of that to create this big pile of mattresses in front of us. What do we have up here? Grace line that seems to be somewhere in Europe. A lot of documents laying here as well. Test hole machine. This is all about the machines that they use for the water wells that they made. Has been rather slow in putting down screen layers. Oh, Tel Aviv, Palestina. Oh, this is also where they had their water company, of course. They had multiple locations. This is all in Palestina. These are all documents from 1993 that depict their waterworks in the country of Israel. Wow, so many remains of their former business are still in here. They also have these bills lying here on the ground from 1942. built-in cabinet. Also something that you don't encounter a lot in the United States. It's more something from Europe, but you can definitely see it in here. It's all left in here like that. And then we have this sitting corner here to the side of the room with again the same style of upholstered bench in here. A wonderful upholstered bench with this picture frame above it of these plants here on the wall. And even the radiators are designed and special in this place. Like these radiators you would encounter in a French manner, but no, we encounter them here in the United States inside of this house. <music> I'm now going to head downstairs and check out the company part of this house. <sighs> Let's wander down this staircase. I'm intrigued as well by this uh, carpet that the American houses always have on the floor. That's something that we don't do in the European Union. And you can definitely see like everywhere in the, in the world houses are different, residences are different and that's actually why I love this hobby so much because I can see how other countries decorate their houses, how other people live, and that's just fascinating to me. Okay, we come into the first part of the business. This sort of entrance hall, over there is the door to the basement. I will cover that later, probably at the end of the video. But let's head first into the bureau area of this household. Have a look at this. Isn't this strange? That is a complete bureau area down here and upstairs are the residences. It's something that I've never seen before. This is the big boss desk, I would say. <laughs> Probably Eden, Eden, the father of the house, might have been sitting here. There's even a picture left up here. Wow. Look at this calculating machine. Corona, something that we dread nowadays. Made in the USA. It still functions everybody. I have no clue how a machine would like this would function. It even makes like this bell sound. <laughs> wow. 
pretty fascinating mechanical machines. I also love this way that you would surge up your contacts, this circular pattern. Even the ventilator is still here. And all the company documents are also still lying on the desk. Wow. And you can see this document lying here from the 6th of January, 1946. I think this business has been closed for a very long time. Here we can all see uh, documents from the water company, the water towers that they owned, and they probably had a very big company looking at the documents that are lying up here. Probably also very rich people. I must say this is a pretty fancy house, but I would have expected like a bigger houses for house for such rich people. Here we have a lot of documents stored in the built-in cabinets behind us easy and in, a, in reach for the person that was working on this desk. More archives here to the right. Let's see if there's anything written on there. R. H. Lumen Associates. Oh, this is from the different companies that they worked with. Specification and expense timesheets. There's nothing in there anymore, unfortunately. Maybe in this one? Oh, this one is locked. There are secrets in there, secrets that the world doesn't want to know. A fireplace, so you can definitely see that at some point in time, this downstairs floor, maybe even this room, used to be a living area. There's a fireplace down there, there's some chairs still left, but it has all been converted into office space at some point. You can even see still the burn marks inside of this wonderful fireplace. And the fire screen still standing in front of there. I love the upholstery chairs that we have up there as well. And the bellow above the fireplace. Wow. <laughs> Such a strange sight with all these desks around here covering the space. The painting down there. And then we have this archway with this pillar standing here that's leading us into the next room. The next part of this office area. There's a computer still standing here. Around the corner, this ambulance says, the Spring Lake 5. Okay. Still some documents and everything still lying there. And some pictures from operations that the company did. You can see a water pump that they probably installed. All still lying here. Ah. This is a family picture. This was definitely a family company as well. Maybe this was Eden and Virgin themselves. Maybe with their son over there. And now we have this desk. Like it seems to be ready for somebody to come in here tomorrow and start his day, day job again. Start working again. The telephone is still so nice. Everything is laid out, ready to start another day of work. Let's see this document. Okay, this is an artisan. Okay, this is from the company that I owned. And this is from May 7th, 2012. That's pretty recent. So these downstairs floors might have been used for a very long time after the upstairs floors got abandoned. All the documents are still lying here. Even in this room, we have a fireplace behind us. Beautiful. Definitely lovers of antique all throughout the house, even in the office area. We got an upholstery chair. <laughs> coin still lying here. I'm not sure what this is for a coin. Oh, this is a one cent coin, one US dollar cent coin. Okay, we don't use these anymore in Europe. The one and two cents have been phased out. We only use five, ten and stuff like that. Even more archives here to the side. And then in the middle of this office area, for some strange reason, we once have like this piano standing here. This wonderful piano still standing here. Unfortunately, this one also doesn't play anymore, but that's just wonderful to see that they 
even have their piano left in here. So at one point they decided to completely convert this office area, but leave this piano still standing here forever just to decorate the space. What a wonderful piece of furniture, I would say, but a wonderful instrument. Wow. And here behind it, we can see the outlay of the house. Music piece is still there. It's, uh, so bummed out that it doesn't play anymore. Oh, like it plays a little bit. It's very out of tune. And this marble table is standing here at once was the front door of the place. Wow. I'm gonna give you one more glance of this masterpiece before we go further. And there's even a dress still hanging here on the side of the hallway. And then we can go over the stairway again to the other side. And <laughs> look at this. We end up again in the same space that we were <laughs> at first. Okay, but let's go further because we still have to go to the right here. A few more rooms that I want to show you. And here we come into the architecture room or the planning room, I would say. Have a look at the ceiling over here. The way this paint has shipped in this room, I've literally never seen it before. It even looks like pixels in the ceiling. Wow, that's pretty fascinating. And this was the planning room where they decided on new business, where to conduct new business, where to drill new wells, and where to expand everything to. We have the desk over here where somebody would be sitting at the time, like looking at these maps, looking for perfect spots and location for new business to conduct. All their tools are also all still left here. The lamp is still standing here. All the pencils and everything is still left in this room. Wow, I love to find things like this. And over here we have this desk as well. You can see all the wells that they were drilling. These are all old pictures from the company they took. Wonderful memories to see. Here they were in the process of drill, drill, drilling a new well. I'm curious at what time this picture was taken. There's nothing on there anymore. Wow, that's insane. It looks like they're drilling some sort of an oil well, but it's just a water well. Even the maps are still behind there. Here, yeah, tools and everything still left here. The painting underneath here. I've never seen a house like this before, and it just fascinates me. Sleek. Oh, there are even more archives left in here. The pump performance. Oh, this is probably all information that they needed. TH pumps, and between brackets behind it, it says USA only. So they probably had the co the co their company went all over the world, just like we saw in Israel, and probably all other places as well. Wow. More. These are all the payrolls from the year 2000, it says over here. Year 2001, until when does it go? 2001 seems to be the last date. 1996, all the payrolls of the employees of the company. What a beautiful room, everybody. I just love it. Never seen anything like it before. And then here, we have one last room on this level of the house. And this used to be the kitchen. But look at this, it's also pretty fascinating. Let's see if there's anything left in here. Yeah, still some spices and food and sugar and everything left. The microwave down here. Got this bottle. Still left here as well. And then the cooking space over here as well with the stove and the fridge next to it. 
Isn't that just fascinating? At one point, this used to be a family home. At the other point, this used to be a business. Wow. Let's go a bit further. Oh, look at this. We even have this TV screen, but I think it's some sort of a surveillance equipment, but I'm not sure. Tape recorder, yeah, you can switch on and off if you want to record everything. Yeah, this was some sort of security surveillance monitor. There's nothing in here anymore. I just wanted to take a peek inside of this very fascinating fridge. Servo brand. See if there's anything still in there. No, that's just equipment stored in here. Maybe that didn't use this kitchen anymore that often. <sighs> okay. There's one more space that we need to go and that's the basement. But I was actually just very intrigued by the device that we see here stand or hanging in a hallway. And I think it used to be a vintage pencil sharper. Ooh, like I'm breaking it right now. It says Boston KS on there. This was already loose, don't worry about that. But you have this pencil sharper here in the hallway. Why would they put a pencil sharper in the hallway of this place? Very illogical, but it's also for different sizes as you can see over here. Wow, oh, and there's still pencil sharpening inside of there. <sighs> Amazing. Let's first now go into the basement. Even more documents lying here. Let's venture our way in there and let's check it out. Beautiful basement as you can see. The stone works on the wall. Oh, and they used it as an archive as you can see. All the documents, all the former documents of the company are stored in here. Let's first have a look to the right here. Go to this part of the basement. This used to be at some point food storage. Wow. All the glass jars are still here. I can see the stairway out there that I could. Uh, when they had products or things that need to go into the basement, like documents for the archive, they would move it all in through the stairway. Okay. And then we come into the main part of the basement, the archive itself, where all the documents of their company, of their water company, are still left. As you can see, every single bill that they ever gave to a customer are still in here. Oh, this is all stuck over the years. It doesn't open anymore. Isn't this just insanely interesting? Everywhere you look in this basement, there are documents stored from that time period. Wow. Hundreds and thousands and thousands of documents all throughout here. Now at the end, we have even more of those documents. <laughs> this is literally insane. Here in the basement of the place, I'm gonna thank you all for watching this video. What a fascinating place to explore and something unlike I've ever seen before. A company combined with a home and also such a very interesting home with all these antiques and furnishings still in there. I'm satisfied for today and I think you guys are as well by watching this video. I want to thank you all for watching this week's video. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe down there if you're new to the channel. And there's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can help out the channel and give a small donation for me to allow me to make these documentaries around the world because it's crazy expensive. But anyway, thank you very much and I will see you next week another epic exploration. Bye bye. I love you.